I'm just saying, if you're going to come from my company, well, I'm sorry, but my business or my brand I put my heart and soul into, you're going to come to my friends that I respect, then yeah, bro, we got to fight. Like, dead ass. Like, that, I kind of hate when you, oh, he's a comedian, so he shouldn't have even said no. If you want to come at me personally, I'm going to get at you personally. If you want to go for red pill niggas, if you want to go for red pill podcasts and start making your jokes about them, cool. Say whatever you want. You can even make reference to me and I won't even get mad. But as soon as you say me exactly, oh yeah, it's on. It's on and I don't want to hear nothing about it. You open your mouth and put them hands up. The comedian playing a dangerous game. They love the downfall of men, which is why their envy seeps through the screen. They know they have nothing of value to give men. The most feminine reaction possible. Andrew Schultz clapped back. Myron, you are sensitive, talentless, bottom feeding grifter. Your life's work is renting women and regurgitating other people's talking points. Points. Your arms are not developed enough with the shirts that you wear, and your co host is pimping you. Like, God. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, boy. Another one. Like, goddamn. See, he went in, though. See? Now, you can't tell me. I don't care if you was at a comedy club and somebody said, hey, yo, bro, you look like a sensitive, talentless, bottom-feeding-ass grifter. And it looked like you pay for pussy. And, and it looked like all you do is copy niggas. You gonna get the fuck up. You gonna get the fuck up if that was at a comedy show. But if he's he like, oh, man, I hate those type of guys who's all sensitive and tireless and they're grifters. I hate those type of guys. Those guys are the worst. And ha, ha, he, he. You know, y'all see what I mean. Like, okay, cool. You can you can hide under the grounds of being a comedian until you make it personal. After that, you, you're a man now. You're a man. You want to address a man crazy? Cool. I would hope you're ready to throw hands on that. And not just talk out the side of your mouth thinking it's a comedy show. Like, no. Merry Christmas. Myron responds, Grifter, I've saved thousands of men from suicide, help them get in shape, invest to create wealth, attract their dream girls, and live better lives. What have you done? Be born with a silver spoon in your mouth and tell shitty jokes with your pussy co-host? Now, honestly, I think this is the most perfect response that Myron could have wrote, but he continued on. <laughs> Hey, everybody said that, though. Everybody said that. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was gold. That was gold right here. Grifter. Like, yeah, bro done saved a thousand dudes. He done went on video. Bro done been on so many video calls with dudes, he had to kill it. Because he got too invested into it too many times. It's like, I'm gonna say one thing about Myron. Like it or not, bro really care about men. He really cares about the men, male improvement. The male movement. He really cares about that shit deeply. To the point where he's almost kind of crazy and he gets hella passionate about it. I fuck with it. I think it's admirable. I think it's admirable to have something you're passionate about instead of joking about everything. Instead of trying to find a playful thing about everything. Like, no. Sometimes there's shit you got to stand on business on. And he's standing on business for his friends, his brand, and the Red Pill community, if anything, and men. He ain't going on. He, he's like, bro, I'm fighting you on. I'm fighting you just to stand on all this. And if y'all want to see it as, oh, he's being emotional, I just think, bro, standing on business. He's standing on what he respects and what he holds valuable. It's damn near like somebody insulting your wife. Like, damn near. Like, you, you insulting something I put my pride in, my nigga. Like, come on now. Like, you might want to, like, back up a little bit, G. <laughs> or you might catch that. <laughs> All right, yep. But what have you done? Being born with a silver spoon in your mouth and telling shitty jokes with your pussy co-host. I ain't gonna lie, bro do look hella soft. A quiche or a kosh.